Well, this is real life and Thanksgiving is nearly upon us and this is my Gibson Elite food platter review. My wife has uh, bought these off of Amazon. They both claim to be a four piece set, but the actual fact each one is just three tiers on there and the fourth piece being the metal holder for them. They are very, very heavy indeed. They're porcelain, but without more ado, let's get them straight out of the box and see if these are gonna be good enough for our Thanksgiving feast. Tackle off a small one, first of all. They appear to be very well packed, which is a good sign. And that's our metal. Now I'm gonna turn them on the side. Slide them out. So what have we got for our money? Our three dishes are in there. Well, they're very well packed. I'm gonna need a knife to slice open the wire parts. So there's some self-assembly required here. Anyway, there's no assembly diagram with them, but that's no bad thing as they look to be fairly easy to assemble from the side of the box. So I'll put them in a kind of a logical order down there. Of course, being, of course it not being one rigid piece means you can tidy them away in the cupboard when you've finished using them. The top one goes on there, and that's you know, reasonably nice and secure. A little bit of flex in there, but I uh, guess it depends what weight we're putting in there. As I say, everything very well packaged, which is quite nice. My cat is going to come along, no doubt, and inquire. Say, so, very well packaged indeed, which is always a good sign with something like this, where you've got the china on there. Well, there we are. That is the first one of our uh, Gibson Lake Gracious Dining platter collection on there. Three little bowls for putting various snacks in there. I'm going to push those to the back, out the way of my... Uh, kitty cat on the side who's keeping me company. Let's look at the second one. Again, let's tilt that on its side for safety. Then it out. Again, just follow the diagram while assembling them. Take the plates, carefully put those to the side. Now, it's a good job the diagram's on the side of the box as they don't come with one in there. A little bit trickier, this one. I like to uh, do all of these reviews where, to say, want to show you how one person could do it on their own, but this might well be one that you could do with a friend holding things in place. Once we've got one on, never work with children and animals, I think is the expression going there. Now, I have got a little bit of flex from side to side on there at the minute, and I'm not quite sure why that should be, but once it's got a bit of weight in, fingers crossed, it plots itself out on the floor. It does flex around like that until you put the dishes in. We're not going to get it to say it remain rigid that way. Again, very well packed. It's this, yeah, that one just does not seem to want to stay in place in there. Hmm. Well, that's our second Gibson Elite Platter assembled. I have to say, from a stability point of view, that one is a lot, lot more stable than this one is. There is still a little bit of tendency, if you were to bump that, there is still a tendency for it to flex from side to side, which I am uh, quite surprised at. But I'm not missing any parts from it, so you're going to need to be very, very careful indeed when putting this out on the side that nobody bumps into it, because anything knocking into it from the side could set things awry. Excuse my cat coming in in the action there. Um, so I would highly recommend the round bowl set. That is nice, that is super stable, that's not going anywhere in a hurry. That almost seems a better design uh, than this rectangular one from uh, the Gibson Elite Collection. But I'm not going to hide anything and say, this is great when it's not, but that flex from side to side there does slightly worry me. Um, but as ever, I will show the good and the bad with all of our household reviews. Well, in conclusion, I have to say I prefer the bowls uh, platter from the Gibson Lake Character Dining Collection because that's not going anywhere in a hurry. That's nice and rigid. It does slightly worry me that you can t flex this one from side to side, and if it flexes too much, those plates are going to pop out and come loose on there. Um, it's still not sitting entirely, it's still got like a little bit of lean on there. Uh, so this I'm 100% happy with, this I'm about 90% happy with. Uh, but 
on these reviews I don't hide anything away I will show the faults on things as well as the plus points on there I think when you've got your food on top it's not going anywhere in a hurry I would just like to see it a little bit more stable as that's absolutely rock solid stable and lastly the quality of the porcelain the bowls have got a good feel and weight to them likewise the plates nice and solid and thick the porcelain appears good quality without any blemishes or marks in there and that is the size they disassemble down to for storage, making them fairly convenient to store. Anyway, should be useful for our Thanksgiving snacks. I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. And if you like this review, you want to see more real life household reviews, then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We hope you liked this video. If you did, please click on the circle image to subscribe. And if you hit subscribe, then don't forget to hit that little notifications bell next to